I think the whole song all the way through needs to feel like you feel it in your gut. And if there's one little grain in there that might throw somebody off who listens to it, then you got to take that out and, and make sure you get it right, I think. It's, it's so important that, it's, um, that the song all the way throughout is consistently, in your own opinion, great. I always wanted to have a very long life career, and I always took it very seriously to say that um, in my mind, the minute you begin to look back, you're not looking forward, and you begin to believe that you're more than you may be at that moment. So I try and keep a, a perspective that I'm nothing at every moment, and I'm just like you in this crowd to me. In my case, I, I really think that as a songwriter, there's not, not a better thing in life than be able to co-write with people from any genre and any nationality and, and exchange ideas and share things and, and just be humble enough to learn. Because in my particular case, it doesn't matter how many songs I had awards for or how many songs I have on the charts and how, how many artists I work with. For me, every experience is unique. But he had such a laser beam focus about what he wanted. You know, he, didn't, he did not co-write songs for other people. It was all about his voice, what he wanted to say, what he wanted to convey. And it made it such an easy process because there was no great, there was no like, well, let me think about this. For it. Like Luther, uh-uh. Like he just knew exactly what he wanted. But ultimately you're trying to translate what the director is thinking musically. You try and provide what they would do if they could write the music and most of them can't. I w literally, um, put posters on the traffic signs saying, are you a singer? Will you work with me? I have a studio. And <laughs> I went to open mic events. The Village Underground was my church in, in New York. I mean, if there would be no songs and no songwriters would get paid, this whole business would not exist. It all starts with a song. So everybody needs us and we need to get paid. I guess to me the sort of silver lining is that the only people pursuing music at this point are people who are just obsessed and love it. Um, there are such easier ways at this point to make money. And I believe that there is a correlation in people's minds that as music, as we know it, has become physically small to the point where it's invisible, there is a correlation to the importance of it. Actually, the funnest part, most frustrating sometimes, but most fun part is being able to score a human being. That's kind of how I've gotten to look at working on music. I look at a person and I say, who are you? What are you supposed to say? How are you supposed to sound when you walk, talk, take a photo? What does that backdrop sound like? How is that going to look over a career?